Thank you, Member for Warringah. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Thank, I thank the member for McKellar, as this is an important topic. The effects of marketing for products like gambling, junk food and alcohol, especially on young people, are dire, and it's extremely important that this is addressed. Australians have become successful to influence by marketing due to almost constant exposure through social media, and the government should be able to track and measure the influence of such advertising. Now, Australia successfully banned advertising on tobacco pro products, and today is World No Tobacco Day. We could do the same, I would argue, for fossil fuel companies. Worldwide, deaths from tobacco use are estimated to be over 7 million per year. The government has done its part to minimise the harm of tobacco product advertising in Australia. However, there are over 8 million deaths per year associated with the effects of burning fossil fuels. Breathing in contaminated air leads to horrific health repercussions, and currently fossil fuel companies can spread greenwashing and misinformation unchecked to promote their products. Greenwashing is a deceptive marketing tactic that has become a powerful weapon of the fossil fuel industry's arsenal, hindering climate action while millions pay the price. There are over 8 million deaths per year associated with the effect of burning fossil fuels and no regulation. Straight from the tobacco, gambling and alcohol industry's handbook, fossil fuel companies seek social licence by greenwashing their activities through advertising and sponsorship. So frequently, fossil fuel companies will spend more time and money on marketing themselves as environmentally or climate conscious than they do on generally minimising their environmental impact. Mining and fossil fuel companies know that they need community support to continue their operations, and they will invest in protecting their massive profits through marketing and sponsorship rather than actually transitioning their business. Fossil fuel companies will rarely talk about their products in advertising. Instead, they will use clever imaging and associations with community groups like sports clubs to present an impression that the company is positive. For example, BP frequently uses ads to promote its renewable energy projects, but nowhere do they say they only make up 4 per cent of their total investment, while 96 per cent remains in gas and oil. Greenwashing by the fossil fuel industry has seriously delayed action and is harmful to Australians. They exert huge influence, and through greenwashed advertising like phrases using net zero future and boosting renewables, without providing any information on concrete action that they are actually taking. The ACCC recently found examples of greenwashing across industry include where businesses are exaggerating benefits and omitting relevant information through claiming that offsetting its carbon emissions uh, has a positive impact on the environment. However, the business has taken no steps to actually reduce its overall emissions. Additionally, the ACCC found the use of aspirational claims with little information on how these goals will be achieved. In many other cases, it was unclear what practical changes were being implemented to even achieve these goals. And finally, the use of images which appear to be trust marks, such as leaves and images of the planet and the colour green. Consumers may be misled into believing that the business or product is certified by a third party when it is not the case. There is an opportunity to regulate advertising to reduce emission and to keep Australians safe. We deserve accurate representat representation of what companies are really doing to our planet. We know we've successfully banned tobacco advertising and we could do the same for fossil fuel companies. Of course, that would require political will, which generally is lacking in terms of actually coming down with strong action. When we pursue uh, uh, legislation in relation to this, it's clear that we can make a huge difference. I welcome the Climate Council's voluntary code released today to assist sports codes shift away from fossil fuel sponsorships. We should also introduce mandatory information on standards and emissions on information labels on ad advertising and products. These measures will help people be informed and actually will uh, direct their consumer habits and practices. We know greenwashing with all other kinds of advertising of harmful products should be appropriately regulated by the government. So I strongly urge the government to pursue action on these issues and reduce uh, the influence and disinformation that is coming at the moment. Thank you.